Hi guys, today we're uh, looking at my new lens I was unboxing a couple of days ago on the channel. Uh, it's the 70-200 f2.8 uh, non-ISL lens. As I said in my unboxing, I couldn't afford the IS because it was another £800. And I used to use the Sigma 70-200 f2.8 and I fancied the change. So I thought I'd upgrade to this and see if there's any difference at all. And the quality wise, much better on the Canon lens. The every button, all the switches... The, um, the feel of everything just feels like a pro quality and uh, the Sigma just feels a little bit cheap just because it is about £500 cheaper than this lens that I'm holding right now. Um, as I say, all the fear and buttons and stuff all feel good, the autofocus, manual focus and then the um, the focus diff and distance switch all feels very well made. Uh, the glass itself, beautiful quality. Um, the lens is quite heavy, it's just over 1.2 kilos. So when I'm walking around, I'm carrying this at 300 and the two um, 1Ds. It can get a bit tiresome on my neck. The lens in itself um, is pretty decent. I'm struggling to put it on here, but I don't know why I've never struggled before. But it's got the same felt inside there, so um, it stops any reflections. Um, so nice, well built. you got the um, the collar on there for the tripod. Um, if you don't do it a little bit, you can feel the notch where you get it at 90 degrees and, uh, and back to where it should be. And if you have it completely undone, you can't feel the thing, so you just have to keep keep an eye on where the viewfinder is and see where you end up being with it. But overall, um, as a first look, it, it looks great. It feels, I say, much better than the quality of the Sigma. And the Sigma I had for six years, so it'll be good to see if this lasts just as long as the Sigma I had before. And I'm looking forward to getting some videos out and showing, letting you know how it is for me. Alright, I'll get back to you with a review of this lens at some point, so thanks for watching. Bye.